Jersey, don't don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna my fucking Jack, system? What the fuck is going on? But you I'm a the guy who just gonna sure. I'm the guy to keep uh, shit in order. You know. And that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, <laughs> why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen. So get the fuck out of my kids, <laughs> bricks. See you later. Hey, what's going on here? What the fucking hell? Christ. And this fucking guy, too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. <laughs> You're gonna... What you What the hell? Piece of shit. Oh. Cool it, Woody. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. We don't need the business office involved in this shit. I just want what's mine. My axe. Will you get out of here? Go home. Not until this fucker gives I'm me on my your side. axe. How you feeling today, Sheriff? Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you <laughs> done chasing your tail? Where's my ass? <laughs> <you> give it to <laughs> Oh, <laughs> damn it. Go sniff around somewhere else. Woody? What? What the shit is he? Oh, that's terrifying. Alright, give me something. Give me something. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, come on. Protecting your friend. Too bad you couldn't protect those whores. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, try to stop me. Awesome. <laughs> Fucking stay down. I missed actually on that one. There she is. <laughs> oh shit. Come on. <laughs> Stab him with it. <laughs> what we got now? What we got now? Aha. Asshole. I, found <laughs> I love it when this game gets hyper violent. <laughs> the headless horseman. Woo. <laughs> He's just smiling. The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do nothing. you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. Nothing? I still have you, don't I? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. He's gonna get a, a white rabbit. Use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Why just tell me this? Are you trying to rush me out of here? I'm trying to make a point. Dog. Dog, you can have all the information you fucking want. It's not gonna help you when the time comes, and that time, it's a coming. Ch 
just go on. Get Crane's shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. No time for traveler's checks, huh? I don't need that money. What else we got? That sick piece of... <clears throat> the shard. There we go. It's the shard. Finally. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you could do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh! Oh, shut the fuck up, will ya? <laughs> Out of smoke? No, I like working with him now. He's all right. <laughs> Thanks. Shitty grand. Come on. Gets the job You're done. Welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something we can do about it. We can get the fucker who did it. Boom. Ain't that the plan? Yeah. You're damn right it is. All right. Go do it then. <laughs> Bros now. Hey, Woody. Yeah? You gonna be all right? You know me. He's got his axe back. Look at this cab driver. He's kind of well-to-do. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, there's the old else back should fuck up. himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished well, here, Miss White. We had two places have I was to... going to. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. <laughs> Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. Don't <sighs> fuck it up Finally. any further, Buckin. Things Buffkin. are swinging back in the right direction. Good Buffkin. work, Bigby. I almost call him Buckin. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? I gotta say, this thing reaches a lot further than we thought. A crooked man has something on everybody. It wasn't just beauty in the lung. I really don't want to talk about this in front of him, though. His I don't trust him. The Jersey Devil is putting the squeeze on all kinds of fables down at the Lucky Pawn. And he's got fables enslaved at the butcher shop, making black market magic. This is worse than we could have imagined. But that's over now. Because we got the mirror, and once it's fixed, we got him. That's how that Crane easy? did it, and that's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Buffkin's the crooked man. Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Why don't you go fuck off until I'm good and ready? <laughs> 
don't understand. It's so sad. He just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? God, you suck at puzzles? Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. It helps that I have a good working relationship with the mirror. Crane was carrying it. For part of the night, at least. I found it in his coat. It's uh, pretty amazing it's still intact after the fight, the kidnapping, and then riding around with Bloody Mary for uh, however... Yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. Well, how would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. I don't think well, I, don't I, think I know how to dive into that now. metaphor very we'll far. just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Oh, come on, Buffkin. Do your job. He might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Fabletown. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He Who's said it might be talking to? Oh. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office out back? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? <laughs> you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So, just break the news and be done with it, okay? I'm really the... yeah. I'm the best at breaking news right now. Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you, and you can't deny that. Before we get into any of that, what do you know about the Crooked Man? Don't try to change a subject on me. I need a little bit of that walking around money, you know? My car, total, the gaping mall in my wall, any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout, just what's right. I need it, Big B. Look, I don't write the checks around here, but I know I had a hand in it, so I'll try to get Snow to take care of you. Please do. It's the only way I'll be able to get me glamorous. I can't yeah, wait to lie right. to you later. But uh, this isn't exactly a new problem with you, Toad. You Whatever. know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Yeah. Is he going to the farm too? Yeah. You thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in Fable Town. For a friend, the rules will bend. That's a slippery slope, that is. Colin isn't your concern. You should worry about your own fucking situation, Toad. Wrong bastard. No, really. Oh, now, now, it came out wrong. If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just wanna stay. So what do you say, you just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest of what? Oh, we just get you your glamours. Please, we'll you walking around don't take TJ from the only arm he knows. These old glamour rules. Oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. Look, you were unglamoured three days ago. And you're still unglamoured now. I can't ignore that. But, you go to the farm, things cool down here a bit. Maybe you can come back at some point. Fine. Deal with it later. Best I can do. What a crook of shite. <laughs> Government by the fables for the fables, my arse. Bluebeard, you wanna talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office. So direct your questions to Miss White. What, so we could have given him money? Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Don't worry, I did the right thing. <laughs> Don't worry, okay. here's a vague answer. 
could. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. If there's one thing I figured out, it's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles, chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told, or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff, Miss White, Sheriff. I believe the mirror is repaired. God, you're the worst, Buffkin. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Very nice. Yeah, I want to see where he's ended up, too. Bless you, but I agreed with you. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. <laughs> oh, damn. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? <sighs> mirror, mirror, no time to pout. So, where does Crooked Man hang out? Just get some big bad wolf I limericks. I recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold off. Zoom out. Enhance. It moves all over the place. The door. It moves. Yeah. Look out for the Jersey boat. mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's going to move again, but I'm going to get there before it does. Sure Baby, you wait. Will. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. This can't be like it was with Tweedledum. I don't care if it gets out of hand. You don't let it come to that. But... I know that emotions can run high. And you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. I'll catch him and bring him back here. A lie. And we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm She's going like, to trust good. you to That's handle still this gruesome, problem. but okay. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. It's a little on the nose for naming a bridge. But why am I running? Oh. Get him. Get him. And it moves at the last minute. Stop with the damn door. I'm not gonna knock. What the fuck? I almost kicked it down. American Fable History X. Okay, we're, we're holding up. That was weird. Somewhat unnecessary. What's with the music? It's the cops! Cheese it! Tim! Crooked man. What the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Tiny Tim. You'd think I'd have outgrown that centuries ago. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call. What is this place? Or where is it? I know I'm not in Central Park anymore. I'm mm. not sure, 
I've only ever come in through one of the portals. I don't think you can get in from the actual street. But you can't blame him for wanting to make it hard to find. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. Fine, lead on. Sympathy for Tiny Tim. It's the wheel. Unless Tiny Tim is the damn crooked man. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. Calm down. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. I get it, you have a job to do. But you gotta ask yourself if you want to be involved with this guy. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. I can find the door myself. You should just get the hell out of here. Things are going to get ugly in a minute. Leave. I told you, I have to do this. Hey, you've been warned. Stick around, and you're a part of this, just like anyone else. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Thanks. <laughs> Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you, eh? Don't Tell me who the me. fuck is back. <laughs> Jeez, that's not really what I meant. But. I, I don't exactly know. I, I just mind the door. I got a problem. The boss is there. You needn't worry. I knew that much. He'll come around. I might like train before him. I'm sure he will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. I say he'd be more useful killed, skinned, and ma- Bloody hell! This fucking guy! <laughs> it's everybody I hate. All in one room. That is such a great little... I love the Jersey Devil's glamour. I was wondering when you'd turn up. Oh. I'm sorry, oh, sir. Drubia. You wouldn't let it's me. It's all right, Tim. I shouldn't have expected the sheriff to give you respect enough to do your job. But you did fine. You can go now. I let him escort me to the door. God damn it. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Nice. <laughs> it's going to be an hour long I've conversation. Heard stories isn't it? about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait, hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. Uh, get some Bloody Mary revenge. Come on. Let's see how we did. This is kind of cool because so many people have already played it. So, you, okay. Yeah, he should. I decided he shouldn't go. <laughs> I thought I was just lying to him. No. Oh, well. Yeah, why would, yeah, it's a little invasive. The ribbon. Huh. 
what the why why has everybody got sympathy on toad come on 43 <laughs> percent of players lit a cigarette i love it cool So, I'm okay with episode four. Uh, I feel like that's kind of where it started getting a bad rep, um, review-wise. But I feel like I had a big, uh, a big reveal and an appropriate cliffhanger. So we'll see where it goes from there. But yeah, when in doubt, smoke it out.